streaming, baby. All right. Uh, TV streaming. We have some follow-ups. There's some issues here. First up, we're going to just hit the knock out the follow-up section. We have WandaVision just announced its release date, and it's not... 2020 because surprise surprise they got pushed back everyone was guessing that it was going to be 2020 it's not going to be 2020 though it's very very close uh january 15th is the first is the air date of the first episode or the release date i guess is more appropriate for the first episode uh so if you are a disney plus subscriber january 15th is the day to enjoy all of the wandavision action if you are not yet a disney plus subscriber subscriber i guess uh, I mean, you're one of the minority, and that would be the day that you need to be subscribed before. Although I'd be willing to bet Mandalorian's going to be better as far as just in general. Though WandaVision's going to be, I don't know, There's, it's going to be a battle. Who's more nerdy and who's more right? Anyway, uh, super excited about it. Moving on. Next, we're a uh, real quick update on the Umbrella Academy. We have official announcement that they have been renewed for season three. So congratulations over on the Netflix. And then well, we're talking really, really quick about Green Canary or Green Canary, Green Arrow and the Canaries. All of the words just came out of my mouth at once. You just didn't hear it. Uh, so Green Arrow and the Canaries is still potentially a thing on the CW. It is just very much on the back burner. Uh, we got some stuff going on in the Arrowverse that kind of led producers to say, and Green can or again, all of the words just happen to flood out and you only hear the two. <laughs> Green Arrow and the Canaries uh, is 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 still somewhere in development. We just need to nail down a pilot. So that is the status of that. Now let's move into the news, shall we? Uh, Freakazoid is our first piece. And who doesn't love Freakazoid? Well, actually... I don't know, a lot of people probably don't love Freakazoid because a lot of people don't know Freakazoid, but that is about to change, hopefully, because I love Freakazoid, because there is a quasi sort of a little bit, of not really a reboot happening. Again, quasi sort of, not really a little bit. Um, so Freakazoid is going to guest on an episode of Teen Titans Go. The episode is going to be airing on November 14th. If you want to catch it as it airs, that is the day to do that. Uh, Teen Titans Go. This is apparently a setup from like 14 years ago. I I tried to figure out, but it was like, I don't know. It was It's a weird thing, but I'm just going to lean into it because it's an awesome weird thing because Freakazoid was a hilarious cartoon. So you should probably go try and find the episodes somewhere, but they're not really posted. Whatever. Moving on. <laughs> we're moving now over to the CW. Uh, we're talking about Black Lightning kind of more painkiller. The character painkiller from Black Lightning is getting a spinoff series. Potentially, they are trying a backdoor pilot for the series. It will be episode seven of the next season for Black Lightning. So, season four, episode seven, is going to be a, is going to be a backdoor pilot for the Painkiller series. I'm uh, not super familiar with the character of Painkiller, though. I will be checking out the backdoor pilot because those are always fun and interesting to see how they're going to take the established thing and spin it into the other thing. So, if you want to do the same. Join me, won't you? Uh, I don't know what the date is. They didn't have the date, so you'll have to, as soon as they post the, the air dates for each episode, then we'll know. Uh, and then our next piece and our final piece for the section is Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Now, technically, this probably should have gone over in the movie section because this is a documentary about the series, but... It's about the series, so it's here. What are we talking about? A documentary? What's going on? There is a, a, a legit documentary up on YouTube for uh, the entire series of Deep Space Nine. And I, if I remember correctly, it's about two hours long in length, so it's not like not like that music, that the 80s music, or the 80s horror movies, rather, uh, documentary that was seven hours long, because that made a lot of sense, but... It's still a legit documentary. I have yet to watch it, but I'm going to watch it. It is free on YouTube. Just look for... Uh, I, I, of course I didn't write the name. Why would I write the name down? Uh, just look for Star Trek Deep Space Nine documentary, and you should be able to find it. Uh, it is... I, I could only verify that it was uh, it was up for free in the U.S., so if you are in another country, I do apologize. 
But go check it out anyway, just in case. Uh, that is everything for TV streaming. Now let's...